Okay, guys, so sorry about that. The dude was yelling me to the car over the course of just being running. Y'all know how loud it is. You can't hear me. So, first off, let me show you. Let me see that. These are what all the plugs look like. On that side and that side. So I just put some engine keys in it. Now, we are starting to y'all heard in the video. I missed the revving up part, but it still does like when you rev it up, it falls on its face. And what part of the reason was that is the float stuff. The second half of the reason is this car car almost like I guess uh this uh, 77 truck the not the dump truck the uh other truck the after I think it's called anyway um this one has water in it the fuel from what they were telling me one of the mechanics said looks fine from the tank but it was clogged in the line hence when you went to give it enough gas it got more air in the gas and fell on its place because it was clogged I believe. so what we're going to do just like we said we're going to go up to Steel Unlimited get a rebuild kit for this and uh, put a little needle in the seat and stuff that back in button back up and that should fix the running problem. Hopefully. I think it should. I thought it was a carburetor issue too. Because uh, it's doing that. And to me, like he, he says it does it at idle too. But to me, at idle, it's, it sounds fine. But he said it's still missing something at idle. But I mean, it might be kind of hard to tell with the thing. I mean, but, but it is a little bit carburetor for this game. Um. So, like I said in the last video, the other thing I got for it, I put the mirrors on it. Um, it didn't have a glove box in it. So, I put one of those. Oh, y'all can't see that. But anyway, I put the glove box in it because there was nothing behind here. Now there is. Um, this is the tank where it's fine. It's also on the video. So I got parts, but haven't put much of them on. Only because the shop owner really has time to get down here much nowadays. So, oh, I did forget to tell you. It has tags on it now. Sweet. I'm getting there. So, let's work out the rest of the small issues. And then, of course, I got to get these seats mounted. And uh, go from there. So I just want to get it where I can drive it. My main only thing holding me back other than whether it's not running right is the headlight issue. And let me show you what that is. They cut all the wiring for it. Okay, so. I went to uh, order it. My, uh, from, my uncle gave me the, his book for, and he gets all his noble parts from for his to order this connector that goes from the firewall to the headlock down there. But they said that was discontinued. So either we have to hot wire this, which may be a little risky to do, or Try to find somewhere else to get this stuff from. So, if you all know any good places, feel free to let me know. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much an update on everything else. Uh, I got a bunch of parts for it. I got the wiper motor for it. I got the transmission arm for it. And all we gotta get is the wiper arms stuff for that. I think that might be back there. Um, so the attack works fine. The gauge water temp works fine. The only other thing I'm going to need to get 
but I won't probably do it this, um, yeah, I'm not going to do it this year. I'll wait till the fall. Is I'm going to get the, oh, y'all can't even see it anyway. The, the, I'm going to get the fuel gauge to work. But right now, we did drink well. I haven't turned the key back on, but you know what? Let's do that real quick. We'll test that right now. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work with us running to the stock pump, but let's see. I'll turn the key on. And all I have to do is get power to it. So let's do that. And, nope, still shows full. So, that ain't working. So that's the next thing, but that's a fall move. Or off season move, I'll say. Now, I will go ahead and say this in this video, and I'll remind you all of it again, when this project is complete. There is a car show coming up, I believe it's in September, where my uncle's taking his Nova there, and my cousin's taking his for the first time. So hopefully, like I said, the plan is this is going to be done by then, and I'm taking this up there. We'll park them all in the world. So that's going to be awesome. Cruise up there with him. I'll definitely try to get some footage of that in the car. And, uh, I think with this one, I'm going to buy a GoPro for this too. I think that one will be very well. So, that's an update on the 71. And also, you all got some names for this thing. I'm still going to think of what the name of this thing. Feel free to shoot some. Sweet.